Hi, when you are watching this video, your screen will probably look something like this, except with the video playing. To get admitted to this course involves two steps. First you have to register yourself with our online learning environment, which is called Moodle. To do this you need to have an active email account. And secondly, once you have created your Moodle account, you have to send an email to the course tutor to request admission to this particular course. Alright, let's start with step 1, creating your Moodle account. Click the Create an account button. That will bring you to this online form for you to fill out. Start with entering a username. Suppose I'm a lady from India called Sylvia Subaya. Then I may enter something like that. Or something like that, or something like that. Something that I'm definitely not allowed to do is to use a space in the username. So I'll take this one. Secondly, you have to come up with a password, which should have at least eight characters, of which at least should be four lowercase letters. I'll just enter a four character password just to see what kind of error message you will be given uh, later when you try to save this. You see that when you type it's invisible what kind of password you actually type and that is to prevent people looking over your shoulder. If you want to see what you have typed you have to click unmask. You see that I have typed the password ABCD. Okay we continue with entering the email address. And actually the system asks you to enter it twice, just to make sure that you haven't made a spelling mistake. Alright, then enter the other details. Mumbai in India. Okay. The last thing you have to do before you can click create my account is to enter these funny characters. And that is to prevent malicious software to create accounts by itself and then mess up your website. Low P P I T E D E, and then I say create my account. Now you get an error message saying that your password must at least be eight characters long. Um, so I'll change this one into a one B two C three D four. Okay, I enter these funny characters again. I think that's an F. P E O P U and I say create my new account. Okay, it's working. Now it says an email should have been sent to your address at and then it gives your email address that you just entered. It contains easy instructions to complete your registration. Okay. Continue. Now let's have a look at your email box. Okay. It says, hi Sylvia, a new account has been requested to confirm your new account. Please go to this web address. So you click the link that is provided in your mail. Now your registration has been confirmed. 
and you can go to the courses. These are all the available courses in Moodle and the one course that uh, you want to attend to is Open Distance Learning and Open Educational Resources. So we are now in the course and you can see that you are now actually logged in as a user. So this means that you are logged into Moodle. It doesn't mean that you are already a course participant. For example, if you want to run the self-test, it will give you a message. You need to enroll in this course before you can attempt this quiz. So you are logged in as a user in Moodle, but you have not been admitted to this course yet. To do that, you have to send an email requesting admission to the tutor. You can find the tutor's mail address on the How to Enroll page. And don't forget to include your Moodle username in that mail. That's it. Thank you very much.